Hello, my name is James Stevens with Jack Kinesiology. I'd like to welcome you to a 280.20 video training on jet testing for emotion release. And I'd like to first of all talk a little bit about how I came across uh, a book called The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And uh, I was doing a training uh, for a person in Spain. Uh, her name is Marie Holliday, and she's the EFT coordinator for Spain. And she, uh, in, the, in the course of doing some muscle testing work with her, she mentioned the emotion code and uh, suggested that I get a hold of Dr. Bradley Nelson. And, and I did, and I later come to find out that uh, six years earlier, unknowingly, I had worked uh, with uh, his, um, his brother, uh, Dr. Greg Nelson and Sue Nelson in a, another company, uh, but it was also related to muscle testing. And so a big world got really small from the U.S. to Spain all the way back to a brother. And uh, I, I want to tell you, first of all, uh, how powerful I believe the emotion code is. I believe that uh, the uh, emotional aspect of our health is equally important. And uh, this is a very, very efficient way to help release trapped emotions. And uh, having gone through this, or going through this training right now, you are, um, that is predicated upon you having uh, had the book, The Emotion Code, and having read it. So we will uh, go on that assumption, all right? I have some notes in front of me right here that I'm going to be referring to from time to time. We're going to be taking a look at a lot of documents uh, that support this type of emotion code release and keep you on track so that you have test results that you can be assured of. The uh, first thing we're going to do here is take you through very quickly an actual emotion code uh, a release of a trapped emotion. And so this is, uh, this demonstration that I do is predicated upon the knowledge that uh, you are already in a testable state and you're going to want to refer to the video training on that as well as uh, document E which is your emotion uh, release buddy and again you want to make sure that you have uh, gotten yourself into a testable state uh, by going through uh, the prepare the qualify and making adjustments to make sure that you're responding appropriately to a poor food versus a good food and then you get the green light go for testing and so let's go ahead and green light go for testing now so I'm in a testable state and um, what we're going to do is we're going to follow another document right here. Here, let me go ahead and move the camera around a bit. We're going to follow a uh, document K, and this is the emotion uh, release protocol that we've developed. And so here we go. And I'm going to slide this off to the left because in the very first line you don't use a baseline. And there's my baseline right there, or my baseline feel, if you will. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty well tuned into that. Starting with statement number one, and you're welcome to follow along with document K. The highest priority in releasing trapped emotions is related to my heart wall. 204. General emotions. 189. Specific issues. 180. So the winner is the heart wall, so that's the area we're going to be working in next. And what we're going to work off of now is um, the emotion code chart, okay? So let's go ahead and go down to statement number two. The trapped emotion is in column A, but it says I have to set my baseline first. So let's go ahead. There we go. There's my baseline right about there. You tune into that baseline again. Mm-hmm, that feels it. Okay. Mm-hmm, that feels pretty good. Okay. This, this trapped emotion is in column A. And that's a no. So that makes that column B then. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to work off of another document. This is document P, and this is the uh, released emotions log where we'll be recording certain pieces of information down. And so I'm just going to put down here B because it's column B. And next, 
we're going to determine which row that is on. Going again to uh, document K and statement number three. This trapped emotion is in an odd row. And that's a no, so that makes it an even row. And if it's an even row, then we're going to move on down. This trapped emotion is in row two. Row four. So we know by default it's row six. Let me go ahead and write that down. And so that's row six, column B. And so now we have a, a quadrant, row six, column B. We're going to be working in this area right here, OK? And so I move on down to number five, and number, or number four, pardon me. And number four says to check your baseline again. So I'm just going to tune into it again. OK, there we go, feeling good. All right, the trapped emotion is pride. Shame. Shame it is. And so let's go ahead and write down that trapped emotion of shame. All right, moving on to statement number five. This is an inherited emotion. And that's a no. And so we're going to now go to number six to determine the age. This trapped emotion occurred at the age of less than zero. And that's a yes. So this is a trapped emotion that occurred in the womb. And so let me go ahead and write that down, age of less than zero. Moving on to number seven. And it says to check your baseline again. So as we go along, we're just going to continue to stay in touch with the feel, that nice, just right feel of my baseline. Number seven, I'm, I'm sorry, number six. No, you're right, number seven. We'll get it right here. I need to know more information about this trapped emotion. And that's a no. So when we reach the point of where we need no further information, we are ready to clear it. There's no further details required. And now we're going to go down to number 11 to clear the trapped emotion. And I got my handy dandy little magnet here. And let's go ahead and clear that trapped emotion now. One, two, three. And moving down to number 12 with the statement, I have cleared this trapped emotion. And that's a yes. OK, very good. So now we're going to move down to number 13. I have another trapped emotion related to my heart wall that I can release now. And that's a yes. So let's go ahead and start right back up at number two and move on to the next trapped emotion. So that's how easy it is to release a trapped emotion. And um, what we're going to uh, take a look at next is, let me see here, what was my note saying here? Right, I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, my understanding of the emotion code release process. And uh, of course, Dr. Uh, Nelson, uh, who I'm very, very grateful for, for this wonderful work. I mean, it's just a, an incredible discovery. Uh, has uh, put together an excellent uh, book for you to read more